Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this Microsoft Lumia 535 with me which is a budget oriented Windows phone and in this video we'll be doing the gaming review with this device and this device is based on the Snapdragon 200 chipset which is a quad core processor. Good thing is that it has one gig of RAM and it also has micro SD card support. I have already done the unboxing of this device you can check out that video for more info and uh, if you're going to use this device uh, I would suggest that you add a micro SD card because let me just show you this storage sense. I added a 32 gig SD card and as you can see now most of the games and apps are directly getting installed to the SD card. You can just set it to the SD card and we'll do some gaming and we'll start with some casual games and then move on to heavy games. And these are the games that we'll start with. We'll start with the Subway Surfer then we'll move to other games. And loading of games does take some time on this device and it supports a 5 inch screen which is a uh, QHD screen uh, but uh, the screen re resolution is a little bit low for a 5 incher I would say. Also uh, the screen is a fingerprint magnet as you can see. Uh, so let's play this game that is Subway Surfer. If you're a big gamer, I would say that still iOS and Android have a lot uh, bigger selection of games compared to Windows Phone. Many of the popular free games were not available on the Windows Phone platform. And as you can see, it runs this Subway Surfer uh, pretty well. And also in terms of sound, it's uh, pretty loud. I'll also talk about touch sensitivity. In casual games like this, it's not an issue, but uh, in some heavy games, I did notice minor issues. I'll show you that a bit later. As you can see, oops, it plays the Subway Surfer actually pretty well. So you'll have a great experience uh, playing this game on this Lumia 535. And this is the first. Uh, non uh, what do you say Nokia device non Nokia Lumia device it's known as the Microsoft Lumia 535 not the Lumia uh, not the Nokia Lumia 535 so still getting used to that so let's just get out of this as you can see it runs this pretty well and uh, I'll just uh, kill this I'll open the multitasking tray and swipe this down and let's move to another casual game which is actually pretty popular that is Temple Run so this is Temple Run 1. And again this one also runs uh, pretty fine. Casual games in fact I did not have any issues with the casual games. Uh, but uh, we'll also test some heavy games like Asphalt 8 and Modern Combat 5 which is a paid game. Uh, so we'll also test that one shortly. As you can see uh, this is not an issue and one thing I noticed that uh, with games that are having the simple touch uh, gestures like this, uh, it's not a problem. But I did notice some issues uh, with Asphalt 8 uh, regarding touch sensitivity. And it's just not restricted to me. I tweeted about it earlier and uh, some of the other users also said that yes, there are some touch issues with these device, uh, particularly with heavy games, you notice that. So as you can see it is playing even this game pretty well as I told you casual games is not a problem with this device. So let's get out and let's uh, start playing some heavy games now. Let's remove this, let's go back and let's start with Asphalt 8. So this is Asphalt 8 and on Windows Phone devices it does not allow you to change the what do you say graphic level settings. So these are the settings that I'm using and I'm going to use the on screen control. As you can see, this is the one that I'm going to use sensitivity at 75%. And let's play a few levels now on this Asphalt 8. So this is the Tokyo level. One other thing that I noticed with this device is the screen is actually pretty reflective. And as I told you, I'm going to use the on-screen steering. And here, I noticed that uh, sometimes when I hit the boost, it does not react immediately. Sometimes I have to touch it twice. And again, as you can see the brake, I couldn't, it did not react as quickly as I would have expected. 
it works but you got to sometime hit it uh, once or twice again as you can see it did not react when i hit the boost i have to hit it multiple times for it to react so that's not a problem with the game because this game runs a fine with other devices i think so it's the touch sensitivity which is simply not that great again as you can see i'm gonna crash so touch sensitivity is a major issue though it's playing the game fine i'll try to play anyways There are no, no major, what do you say, frame drops while playing the game, which is surprising. Yes, there are minor hiccups at times, but for the most part, it does play pretty well. But again, as you can see, I'm trying to hit the brake, but it's not reacting. And I notice this only when uh, doing multi-touch gestures that it's happening. It does not happen if you just stop, if you're not touching the steering and you just touch it, it works fine. Again, as you can see, I'm trying to hit the boost. It, it simply does not react for the first time. You might have to hit it twice, which actually uh, is sort of irritating. I also have the Lumia 730 with me, uh, which I will also test soon with this game and see how it works. Good thing is it's able to handle this game, but the only hiccup I would say uh, was the touch sensitivity that I'm facing. For example, I'm hitting the boost as you can see. Only when I hit it twice or thrice, it just reacts. It does not react on the first go. Which is a sort of an issue with this game because you need quick uh, reaction. So this was Asphalt 8, uh, let's get out of this and uh, uh, let's now, let me just take it out, oops, by mistake I had the back but now you got to hold it, let's kill this and let's also try Modern Combat 5 and this is a paid game, uh, it was for 360 rupees here in India, about 6 odd dollars. So this is Modern Combat 5. And uh, as you can see, it is laggy. Uh, frame rates are not that uh, smooth, but again, this is a pretty heavy game. And the frame rate is jumpy, but it is playable. I'll test this game even on the Lumia 730. Will be interesting to see how it runs. So continuing. Again, as I told you, uh, it's a bit uh, jumpy in animation. The touch response is a tad slow. Again, as you can see, it's not the smoothest uh, playback that I'm getting. But it is able to play this game. It's the multi-touch uh, I'm noticing. It. When I'm touching 3-4 points at the same time, then the response is a bit jerky. Let's continue. Oh, 
Let's get out of here. We've got Keep on firing. And yes, if I'm just using a single touch point, then there, it's pretty responsive. But when I use both the thumbs, then I'm noticing that touch lagginess. I don't know if it's a firmware bug or whatever, but it is there as of now. Uh, but the great thing is it is able to handle this uh, game uh, pretty well in fact. I didn't expect that uh, this device would play this game uh, this well. Apart from the touch uh, sensitivity issues. But I still feel that the Lumia 525 uh, was a much better device. Because I did not face any touch sensitivity issues on that one. So this is done. As I told you, I also have this Lumia 730 with me. Which uh, also I will be testing very soon. So as you can see, it played uh, many of the games without any issues. And even Modern Combat 5 it played which was kind of surprising uh, but uh, the touch sensitivity uh, was a big downer in my opinion also if you notice this is the first windows phone device which i feel is a little bit jerky it's not silky smooth like other windows phones device so that's it for now for this gaming review of this lumia 535 but i do believe that the lumia 525 was a better device for gaming as it had a better processor and a better gpu also it, it was a lot smoother in the ui compared to this lumia 535 i'll also be posting a full in-depth review of this Lumia 535 very soon. So if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.